Hello guys and uh, welcome to another chapter of uh, GSX Level 2 Tutorials. Now in this uh, chapter we're going to talk about uh, creating double jetways uh, where there are none and also creating single jetways where you don't have any kind of jetway. Also we're going to talk in here about the docking system, how to add a docking system where you don't have one. Now to begin with, I'm um, uh, back here in Madrid uh, scenario from Simwings uh, in the terminal 1 and uh, gates number 73 and 74 as well as 71 and 72 and 70 have been configured already and I'm not going to do it from scratch because uh, by this point in the tutorial you should know most of the things that I'm going to be that I've already done in here but I just I uh, do want to show you however how I did this with the gates already in here now I'm going to go and customize the jetways now the only um, tricky thing about creating a double jetway now you see I'm going to move these things these jetways apart so you see how they're done okay by pressing F4 again you switch between items Okay, now these jetways, they, they have no secret. They're just jetways with, um, I mean, the, the models that I've chosen here. And uh, they just have a, how do you call this, a bridge. Okay, in this one, I've placed a 27 meter bridge or I'm, I'm a measure 27 bridge. And here I think it's a 15. I'll show you the measures now. But well, basically what you do is just you add two jetways in the configurator. When you see, I'm, I, I placed here, I chose from the options that we had two jetways and it opens two jetways in here and then you just have to give the values that you think are correct. As you know, well, this should be black actually. Yeah. And uh, I think, okay, let me check. Yeah, the others are black also. There you go. And number 74 probably is also like this. Now the outer, it should have, oh, you can't put on this one any number because I'll show you later. In any case, um, so uh, what you do is you create, you add two jetways to the position that you want to configure it. You know that when you create an exclusion, it automatically adds one jetway. So would you, you would just have to add a second one by just choosing two jetways. And then it will create a second one here okay now there's one thing that i think it's important that you should name one of them inner and for me the inner is the one closer to the terminal and the other one outer why is that because when you want to operate the jetways you want to know which one you're operating okay otherwise it becomes uh, an impossible thing now uh, once you're given the right name you've chosen the kind of uh, livery you want the kind of getaway the kind of uh, a bridge model if you want advertising power unit or air conditioning and uh, I usually place the gate number on the outer one because it makes more sense since when you are approaching the jetway if you're la uh, arriving to the airport going to your jetway you want to see it as close to you not as further to you so uh, that's basically the only tricky thing I mean the only thing about it okay now the tricky thing about it is now depending on which is the same thing as anything else that we've done so far, okay? Um, but you have to take into account, let me show you this. We're going to customize the jetways. One second, there you go. Now, remember that depending on the location that you place the jetway or the size of the jetway, it this jetway will be able to address one uh, door or the other okay let me see this there we go and now we go back frontwards okay there you go I think it's probably about here and now a bit to the right okay so there it goes now, if we go again to 
by using the F4 and F1 to the jetway and we press number five, it's going to tell us here which doors this jetway can go to, okay? It says uh, door number one, you see, number one and number two, okay? Which is exactly what we want. We want this jetway to be able to go to this one or this one, but in case we want to use only one jetway, we want to be able to access both of them. Now the other one, however, as long as it uh, it's capable of going to jetway number two, it, it'll be fine. So we press number five and see now here it says door number one, two and th hold on three and four. It goes all the way. Okay. Now, of course, we're not going to use it in door number three nor number four and definitely not number five because you won't reach there. But three or four, you won't want this to go to number three or four uh, because you'll break the wing. Uh, so therefore, when you engage with, uh, when you start doing the, operating the jetway, you're going to tell the outer to go to number two and the inner to go to number one. Okay. So that's basically it. There's no much uh, more to talk about it. And uh, I'm going to go to the next uh, gate, which is gate number 74, to show you something uh, interesting that they came in the last, uh, in the they, I mean, they, I think it was like a week ago or two weeks ago that they did a, an update on the code. I explained to you already in the previous chapters that this thing here, it's the code updater, okay? This one here, it's to update the whole software, the whole GSX2. This one is just for deliveries, okay? Now, uh, and we already talked that they should change the icons because uh, when you open the applications, they look exactly the same, which is, it always confuses me. You see, they're exactly the same. They look exactly the same. And if you're not careful, you don't know what you're doing. So uh, we exit both of them. And there was an update today, uh, October the 8th of the 9th, uh, with some minor bug fixes and uh, errors fixed. None of them uh, that I thought that was uh, pertinent to all the tutorials that I showed you. But in any case, that's good. That means they're still working on it. Now, this jetway that you see here, it's called the overwing jetway. Now you cannot change the color, you cannot change an add a number or anything, and you cannot even change the delivery. I mean the the ad the advertising today as of yet. Okay, I'm sure they'll change that in the future. But uh, this thing, when I was configurating in another airport, I think it was Paris, uh, I wanted to put this one on the third jetway to make to be able to create a third jetway, and uh, I wasn't doing it right because I was going to the door number five and that that usually always end up breaking the wing now there's one thing that in certain jetways and certain parking positions i don't think that uh, gsx2 is doing it properly and i'm going to explain you why um and these two gates here the way you install them is exactly the same it's just this this jetway has a small uh, here it has a small, um, how do you call this, bridge. And this jetway has a long bridge here. It doesn't matter which bridge belongs to which, uh, you'll be able to see passengers on both of the jetways, which is what you want, okay? Um, now, let me show you what I mean about the fact they're not, uh, that the, the, way that GSX operates the jetways is not done well and it's not even in the way that is done in the real life. And that is when in the real life a jetway moves towards the plane, now the first thing it will do is it will turn. The second thing it's it will go up and down and the third thing it will move this thing here to dock into your plane. Okay, that's the way to make sure that it won't scratch or hit your plane and that it's uh, it's the best way to do it anyway. They just It's a logical thing to do. And I'm going to show you because we're going to operate the jetway, the outer, okay? So we're going to tell the outer, which is this one, of course, to go to door number three left, which is this door here, okay? Now... You confirm the selection. See, now it's it start going down instead of turning, which is, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense because now it's going to hit the wing, you see? 
and then it turns and then does the docking. Now, if we would have done the turning first, the moving down later and the docking for the last, it would end up in a situation, you see it's not touching the wing, it's not hurting the plane and it would be able to do the docking. So I think that's something that FSD Dream Team, FS, uh, FSDT should be working about. And now we'll dock the other one, we'll operate uh, the inner to door number, let's say two, okay. Confirm the selection. And this jetway will go here. Now I've seen in a video uh, of a guy that did a demo, a very short demo about, an, uh, I think it was Sheeple or something like that, that he managed for both wings, for both jetways to operate simultaneously. Now that is not, uh, that is not uh, how I could do it. I couldn't find a way to do it. I just have to do it one at a time. But I can manage, however, to both to have both fingers, both jetways to be docked at the plane, which is what we really want. Now you see here that I've not done this well, and uh, this uh, this uh, what do you call the bridge? It's uh, not in the proper position. Now I'm going to do something that like the easiest way to reset the wings, and I'm going to place this in the 744, and I'm going to customize this. And I'm going to customize the jetways. Now I'm going to make this one either a little bigger, a little smaller, sorry. The jetway by pressing F5, I make it smaller. And then, oops, sorry. See, I always messed up with the directions. I'm sure it happens to you too. Okay. Ah. Hit it. So now it goes in here just a little bit and it won't show on the other side. Okay, so this should be perfect. If we press Y, we exit the configurator. By I'm sure that by now you guys know where to find the all the, the keys. I've explained it in the chapter one. Uh, if you go to the, your manuals or the first time you enter the the setup of every, the first time you customize the parking position, it will tell you, uh, it will pop out the a blue, if you press customize with jetways or any of the customization, it will pop out here your uh, menu of the keys that you can use. Uh, I just uh, disabled that option because I know them by heart now. But yeah, this is, the, this is it. Now, the other thing I wanna show you is how to create how to be a little creative to uh, find, for example, yeah. let's say I, I want to go to gate position. number, I think it was five to zero. I'm moving and it's annoying. I went to this parking position and I added a jetway. So instead of saying there was no jetway, so I did say I wanted one jetway. I added a bridge long enough to reach that other bridge over there. And... Um, I added all the logos and all the things that I wanted. This is supposed to be, I believe, uh, whatever, it doesn't matter. And um, yeah, so what I added is a small the, the jetway. I added a long uh, bridge. I put it all the proper configurations in here. And then I just make sure that you could uh, land uh, 320 here so we don't have a problem of the size because by default I think this was 24 or something like that. So now in this jetway, in this parking position, I can also have a jetway where there was none. Okay, so this is a way to add it. There's nothing special to it. Now there's other thing that I wanted to talk about in this chapter, which is the uh, docking system. Now there's plenty of uh, docking systems here. Now, okay, now you also have Airbus 320 here, but I'm not going to add any more jetways here because uh, I, don't th I don't think we need them and we have like 100 jetways in this, in this airport anyway. I think it's kind of cool to be parked in here because while you're, getting, uh, while you're logging the, the passengers, you can see that the, the, the inside of the terminal is very well done. So now you see that we have a docking system here. Now there's different types of docking systems. Okay. 
and I've added the safe dock T39 uh, wall mounted. You have all sorts of uh, different types. Now there's, here, let me show you between the difference between them. I'm gonna move the plane just a little bit to the back. Okay, so you're gonna see the difference between them. Now, the ones that are on the wall, of course, there's no secret about it. Uh, I'm just gonna show you how to uh, place it on the right location. You know, now I'm in the right location, on the right prop, uh, position, sorry. And the parking system, if you go with the arrows, like in everything else, you can go backwards, frontwards. So if you put it like there, it's on the right position. You can turn it to the left, to the right. And also, here, I believe it was, let me check one second. There you go. Now, here it is. With Z and Q, you can raise the level of this object. And let's see if this is true. I press Z. There you go. Now, this is necessary because this parking position is also good for small planes and they, and of course they're much uh, lower than this other than this Airbus 320 so here with this you can lower or move up and down this object this you can only use for the docking system okay so this pretty much summarizes everything that i wanted to speak in this chapter i hope uh, you enjoyed it and i hope uh, this clarifies anything regarding double jetways single jetways where there are none and Docking system. Bye-bye.